Hi, this is Sudeep Machanda from Quite Easily Done. Welcome to the Beginners Project. You might be having plants at your place and you might be going out for vacation and would be wondering how would you water these plants when you're out for vacation. Or maybe you just have a tight schedule and think about how do I adjust watering the plants every day in my daily routine. Or maybe you're just like me who likes to have automations around and would like to have everything tech savvy around me. So in this beginners project, we would be talking about automation of water, watering of the plants with using very simple and easy components that we can easily find and easily understand also. This is a beginners project and so we will stick to the very basics only. What we would be using is the soil moisture sensor. Using the soil moisture sensor, we would be able to understand if the plants need watering or not. So this is a very simple sensor which goes up into the soil, has, has outputs to it, which goes into its analog to digital converter. The analog to digital converter over here has four pins. Two of them are for the power. We give it five volts. It has an analog output, which is what we would not be using right uh, in this project. And it has a digital output. The digital output would give us zero or one, telling us if the moisture in the soil is below or above the threshold. The threshold we can set using the potentiometer on the board over here. So this kit of the sensor can easily be found anywhere and very convenient to use. Now once we know, once we get a digital signal uh, about if the soil needs to be watered or not, that input is given to what we had seen before as the relay board. The relay board would take the input of this signal from the sensor and be controlling a 220 volt appliance for us. This 220 volt appliance is what we would be using to actually initiate the watering, watering process. To keep things simple, what we would be doing is we would be using a submersible motor like this which you find in your desert coolers or in a lot of appliances around us. Very cheap again. What we plan to do is to have the sensor into the soil, put a threshold that we want the moisture to be at, and on the basis of the digital signal, use the relay boards to control the submersible motor. This motor, the pipe, the water out, this motor would be submerged into a bucket of water and the pipe would be then taken to the roots of the plants that we're going to be watering. So whenever the moisture level goes down, the relay board would automatically switch on the motor for us and the watering would get initiated. Now in this case, the interesting thing is we don't need any delay circuits, any triple five timers or any complex appliances because as soon as the moisture in the soil is to the level where we want it to be as per the threshold set in the sensor, the relay would automatically switch off the watering process. So it becomes easy for us by just simply using one sensor and a relay board, we would be able to do the watering process. So we'll get back to this once, let me assemble all the things together and show you the actual watering process into action. Okay, here we can see that we have assembled our entire circuitry, I put that in a box neatly. And um, so you see the analog to digital converter for the soil sensor. You see the relay board that has been here. The wires you would not be able to see it right now, but I have the sensor right over there uh, in the soil, which is going to take the measurement of the soil moisture and provide it to the relay board. And here's my submersible motor into the bucket full of water. And this pipe, the outlet of it, is connected to each of the plants that I've, I have to water. And I have, what I've done here is, the, it goes through all the plants. The end of the pipe has been closed. It's used, I've used MC to close it. And everywhere where the roots are, I have, as if you can see, I've used the plastic fasteners to keep it close to the roots and put a hole, drilled a hole into the pipe, 
uh, which you, through which the water is going to come out. Now the assumption over here is, of course, that uh, the amount of plant when when the motor starts, equal amount of water, nearly equal amount of water would be distributed across all the plants, and that if the first plant actually needs water, the rest of them also needs it. So this is a simplified version, as as I said. Um, if we, ideally we could have had uh, sensors for each of the plant for each of the plants and water controlled for each of them, what the, so that the, each of the plants get watered individually. But I've simplified the design for now for the beginners module where now all the plants would get watered together, and it works pretty decently. So if the if I have water in the bucket over here, uh, and this one is a big bucket, I can leave the plants unattended for around three to four days at least easily and they get watered easily so for now for the demonstration purposes what i will do is i will lower the uh, i'll change the threshold over here uh, so that the watering process can start right now if you see the, the soil is actually pretty moist and that is the reason why the sensors are not triggering the watering process so i'll show you that in a minute okay so i am changing now the threshold if you see the watering process is started, the plants are getting watered through the holes that are drilled in the uh, pipes and once the moisture is as per the threshold, uh, the motor is going to stop. I'm doing that manually by changing the threshold right now, but ideally if I set the threshold pretty good, the soil would be moistured enough. So that's the automated plant watering system simplified for the beginners level, quite easily done. Let me know of your feedback and your questions. Thank you.